I'm good to walk. Or am I? Oh, car's up. Walking and driving around Pattaya at the moment, I've been noticing a lot of roadworks, or rather work on the roads, because they're not digging up the roads, although there are quite a few places that are, but they're painting the roads. The whole of the road network seems to have gone different colours. And there's a serious aspect to this, because you may well know that here in Thailand, we have some of the worst statistics for road deaths in the whole of the world. Certainly the worst in Southeast Asia, and secondly, only in the world to places like Africa. Today, I thought I'd have a look at road safety, especially to do with using the old leg taxi, pedestrians. Is it getting a safer place here in Padilla, or is it just as bad as it's always been? Here at the are at the bottom of Pratamak, and this is a officially a crosswalk zone. This is right at the bottom by the Sands Cafe. Very nice there, by the way. Look at this. It looks like an explosion at a paint factory. It's crazy. I do remember when I first came to Thailand, there was a joke going around. It says, why is there so many pedestrian crossings in Thailand? Because they ordered too much white paint. Now, of course, the death toll from pedestrians here in Thailand for the whole of the year is estimated by the National Statistic Office to be around between two and a half thousand and nearly three thousand deaths a year just on the roads. In July uh, a 45 year old man was killed uh, at a crossing and one of the things that the driver complained about was bad lighting at the crossing but of course one thing that may or may not have been an issue in that respect was what we call window tinting in the UK or put the, uh, the, the putting a black film on the windows of cars. Just look at this vehicle here. Can you imagine at night time, 90% of the light will be blocked. The vision from the driver's seat from the left and the right at the front and also the vision he gets at the back will be very, very severely restricted. The feeling in Thailand is, is that when we're in our car, we like to have a very high measure of tint on the windows because we don't want people to see who's driving. It's our, it's our car, it's, it's my personal space. And that actually plays onto the thing about face with vehicles. Um, the bigger the vehicle, it seems that the, the right of, you have more of a right of way here in Thailand. And also the bigger the vehicle, it's seen that, you know, you're the king of the road, you've got money, so you can kind of do what you like. Which is you know, it seems to me in Thailand that you have figures that I've just told you about and nobody seems to really do anything until there's a major incident that captures the public's imagination and then Everybody goes around trying to address the problem and then a few months later, everybody ignores it. And there was one such case about road safety that took place in January of this year, 2022. A doctor was killed outside a hospital on a zebra crossing. Her name was Dr. Katai. Katai in Thai means rabbit. She was hit by a motorist who was a policeman on a big bike. Uh, he had no license plate, no insurance no tax, no wing mirrors, and uh, he was clearly speeding. Uh, he was sentenced to one year and 15 days imprisonment, but he's currently out on bail on 200,000 baht bail money. So after that happened, all around Bangkok, there was a big urgency to make sure that the pedestrian crossings were a lot, lot safer. And that's filtered down here into Pattaya. At the entrance to Walking Street, the Beverly Hills of Pattaya. What they've done is, as you can see, there is a pedestrian crossing here. And I've always thought this is a very, very strange um, pedestrian flow, if you like, because just behind you right here, you've got Beach Road and you've got hundreds, if not thousands of people an hour walking this way, maybe to come and have a great night out at Walking Street or even Soy Diamond. And then the pedestrian area, if you like, the space, goes down to virtually single file and without these crash barriers here there'd actually be cars coming late at night at people and maybe hitting them in the back so patio authorities in their wisdom have built um, what we call um, a zebra crossing notice that it's painted red 
instead of white because it's deemed that red and white stripes uh, is better to stand out to motorists as you can see they painted these zigzags here as well have you ever been told by a Thai girl that you zigzag zigzag it means you keep changing your mind they built it they've painted these here to give the driver the the feeling that the carriageway is narrowing so they slow down and also as a build up to the crossing to give them time to think as they're approaching the crossing and this is uh, the site of a brand new what we call in the UK pelican crossing you know one of them crossings where you have to push a button and then the lights turn red and it's safe to stop and there's usually an audio signal for you to stop for you to start walking well this is the site of them and you might recognize this this is the flyover on third road I think our cameraman's gonna get run over um, on third road going down to Bally High there's quite a few pedestrians that will be coming from a lot of hotels in this area and crossing over here and walking down to the beach and the boat, the ferry to Kolan, which is down there about five minutes away. So they've identified this place as a place where you need to cross safely. And so they are making what we call a pelican crossing. And as you can see, they've done this all very, very high standard. You can see the wires going in there and this is a post that's been erected with the, um, with the instructions for pedestrians. Now, there's quite a few of these that have been set up here in Pattaya already over the years, and I've got to admit, their success rate as far as stopping motorists is a little bit limited. Let's take a look. At times like this, I'm reminded of the Green Cross Code, man. Let's have a look. Turn to green and are we ready? Oh, motorcycle didn't stop, but the car did. Mr. Egg crosses the road safely. Here we go. Two, one, green. I'm green. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Mr. Egg's in the middle of the road. And no, the white car hasn't stopped, but the Bart bus has clearly thinks I'm a possible passenger. If I was a partially sighted person or somebody that wasn't paying attention, that white car would have knocked me over. Look at the way that this car is parked. I hope that the owner's not around. By the way, have you seen this, um, this Jaguar here? Just for car enthusiasts. These are built about 50 miles about where I live. Can you imagine the cost of bringing that over? Anyway, never mind. Bangkok number plate, by the way. So uh, clearly uh, he's parked in a it shouldn't be parked over the um, the area where the pedestrians have to cross right mr. egg strides to the road here we go here we go no Bart bus motorbike no there you go yeah cap come my cap bye oh, I love this you never get this in the bus see you on YouTube see you there you go so we've just come to our next location and look at this my traffic warden-esque cameraman balloon chaser has spotted this now these road markings were only painted within the last week and look at this this hashed area means that you can't park but this red area here is actually a bus stop because we've just come to central or centran as the ties call it and they've parked here so the buses will have to let passengers alight in the road and you can actually smell the paint it's that new and they've been parked on this is possibly my most dangerous outro ever crossing the road in Patia. that's it what are you thinking do you think the toys are taking road safety seriously would you like to see more fines and and the police clamping down on it or do you think it's too much or what are your feelings about the whole issue of road safety and pedestrians here in Pattaya? Please let me know. I'd love to know what you're thinking in the comments down below. I'm Phil. Hopefully, if I can get to work safely, you'll see me every day from 2 p.m. at Le Pop Pattaya on Soy Diamond and get set for my new bar, which is opening in October as well. Next door, we'll see you soon. But for me, Mr. Egg, now 
I think it's time I went for a drink inside. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>